Okay, today in your health matters, barely half of men here in America get the care that they need, and many don't even go to the doctor, even when faced with a serious health problem. So, how do we encourage the men in our lives to get the care that they need? Well, joining us now live is Tim Nanaswarn with the Movember Foundation, here to talk about the focus on Men's Health Month right before we get to Father's Day. First, Tim, I have to ask you, how are you feeling? How's your health? Well, thank you for asking and thank you for having me. Uh, I'm feeling good. I think me, like many other men, could obviously do a better job at taking care of our health. But I know since being with Movember, that's become much more of a priority for myself as we hope to make that a priority for all men around the country. Of course. So what kind of startling stats has your organization found lately <coughs> with men not getting the health care that they need? Well, I think we've found that men, unfortunately, die about four and a half year younger, years younger than women, uh, but largely of highly preventable diseases. And so what we want to do is be able to provide quick and easy steps that men can take to live healthier lives, which we call the Men's Health Five. So number one, to stay connected to friends and family and to make sure that men are making time for the loved ones in their lives. Number two, to talk more, to talk to those friends and family and be open about sharing their concerns, but also to be the kind of person that their friends and family can come to for help also. Number three, to know your numbers around prostate cancer. Men at the age of 50 should be talking to their doctors about prostate cancer and getting a PSA test, and even earlier if they're in high risk groups. Number four, to know thy nuts, with testicular cancer being the most common cause of cancer in young men, but easily curable if caught early. Men need to understand what normal feels like and to go seek treatment if something does not feel right. And then lastly, just to move more, to be active, to find activities that men enjoy doing and participate in those to live healthier and active lifestyles. Okay, Tim, I have to dig into your mind, being the mind of a man. Is there some sort of stigma or is there some sort of thing where it's like, nah, I don't want to go see a doctor right now, even though you might be showing some weird symptoms, you might be finding lumps and bumps in places that you don't want to find those things. What, what, is, what is the thought process? There absolutely is, and I think we've just grown up in generations in the past that haven't prioritized their health care. They've had more important pressing issues to deal with, but I think as we look at younger generations, that mindset is starting to change, and with Movember, we're trying to help push that along more quickly. So we're trying to use hum humor. We're trying to create relevant content that can break down some of those barriers and stigmas. We're trying to create content that's easily accessible and understandable and educate men on the benefits of preventative care and early detection. And we're trying to meet men where they are um, in the communities with the events and activities like the golf tournament we held on Monday to kick off Men's Health Week. Awesome. Well, you know what? I have a dad who's 74 years old, so I definitely want him to take his health seriously, as well as my husband, who's 40. He's got to start getting checked up more often. So, Tim, we thank you so much in all the things that Movember has done for men across America. Thank you so much, and happy Father's Day if you are a dad. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me. Same to your father and your dad as well. Thank you. Okay. Lo local law enforcement and politicians, they've blamed 